Hey guys, it's Andrea. So excited today. Look what I got in. Oh. Missouri Star Quilt Company. This is their advent. It's my first one ever to get from them. It's technically called Jenny's Countdown to Christmas 2021 box. It's a quilty advent. It is the most expensive advent that I've gotten. It's 172 55. I actually paid for half of this like six months ago and the other half recently. I had no idea it was coming today. So when Sam carried it in, I was like, oh. uh, I can't wait to get into this and show you guys. OMG. Oh, it's got an inner box. Let me take it out of this outer. Okay, here it is. <gasps> Isn't she pretty? I did go on the website real quick um, to see if it was still available. I couldn't find it anymore on the website, so that makes me think that they're sold out. But at least by seeing it now, you'll know for next year, because I didn't know last year she had one until I saw someone's unboxing. And then I went on and signed up to their emails and they sent out an email when they were doing the reserve your advent now thing like back this summer and I jumped on it. I hope it's worth the money, but we'll find out and then you'll find out too and know whether or not you want to get one for next year. I'm so helpful. <laughs> now I got this because I wanted it. I wanted it. I hope it's good. They've really, um, this is nice. Look, they've got squigglies and you can tell the prizes are individually wrapped. Looks like it's gonna be a full 24 or 25 day advent. Merry Christmas from the Doan family, D-O-A-N. I've never known her last name, but I guess that's it. Jenny, who owns Missouri Star Quilt Company. Dear quilters, this holiday season we want to invite even more of the magic of Christmas into your life with Jenny's Countdown to Christmas box. As children, it was easy to feel surprised by the gifts we unwrapped, but nowadays we can use a little help with gifting, especially for ourselves. This exclusive advent is filled with 25 hand-picked quilty items that were chosen especially for you. Each gift is unique and I adore every single one of them for a different reason. I truly hope you love them as much as I do. Enjoy unwrapping them one day at a time and savor the holiday season with Missouri Star. You deserve it. I'm opening them all at once. I'm grateful for kind, thoughtful quilters like you. You make the world a more beautiful place by being exactly who you are. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a very Merry Christmas. Love, Jenny. Okay, number one, we have this box. And I just wanna say, look how cute this packaging is. You always have to appreciate the presentation, right? I do anyway. If you hear a racket to the side, it's because my cat is attacking everything I'm putting in this throwaway box over here. So I'm sorry. Having these new kids, this is like having toddlers in the house. Ooh, ooh, y'all. Oh. She's starting it off with a bang. First things first, we have this snow globe that's super cute. It says Missouri Star Quilt Company on it, and it's got their little bird thing on here with the hat. It's adorable. It's very heavy. Super, this is wood, this is glass. This is super cute. So she's starting off with a bang, y'all. I really like that. These boxes are freaking adorable that she's she's got it done in too. I'm gonna put everything back because I may wait and um, enjoy these things daily as they come too. Number two. 
Okay, it took me a minute to find it. It's like a traditional advent when you have to hunt for your next one, which adds to the fun. Number two, we have wrapped up in a brown paper packages. Brown paper packages tied up with string. These are a few of my favorite things. We have a charm pack. And it's Songbook by Fancy That Design House. This charm pack looks very pretty. I am digging it. I'm going to show y'all as best I can here, just a sampling of it. It feels really nice. It's soft. I really am digging this. happy it's not like just Christmas. It's just a pretty charm pack. I really like this line. That's nice. I like that. All right, let's find, oh, here's number three. That was easy enough. We have a pattern for buttoned up charm pillow. It looks like it's actually using the charm pack they just sent me. Parker! Oh my gosh, these cats. Look at that. Look at that. And then she um, sent a button too, button cover kit. I've never made a pillow like this. Includes two buttons, mold and pusher. Oh, okay, so you're gonna cover the buttons in fabric. See, I've never, I've never made this kind of pillow before. I'm super excited about this. Sample project, songbook by Fancy, the house design for Moda Fabrics. That's the charm pack we just opened. There's three, there's a three pillow sizes, 19 by 19, 12 by 12, and seven by seven. What you'll need to finish this is one package of the, the charm pack that we got, the button cover kit, and button thread. Note, one package of the charm packs will be enough to make one large pillow, two medium pillows, or four small pillows, okay but you can use whatever charm pack you want and make more. You just need to get more of these if you do. The button, the cover button kit um, is included in Jenny's Countdown to Christmas box. Yeah, I got it. I'm really excited for this. I just have to decide which one I'm gonna make, but I definitely wanna make one of them. Or, I mean, one of the sizes. I'll probably make the biggest one. I'm happy so far. Day four. I think the cats are having as much fun with this unboxing as I am. There's more than one thing in some of these bags. So well, first up, we've got some some Schmitz Schmitz Universal needles for the um, sewing machine. I can always use these. Everybody can always use these, unless I guess your machine don't take them for some reason, but mine do. Nice. I'm happy with that. And we've got this weird thing. What is this? Let's see. Sewing machine needle threader. What? For quick and easy needle insertion and needle threading. This is something totally foreign to me. Here's what it looks like. Let me read about it. 
Okay, it's showing a diagram about how to use it to thread your machine needle. Insert a needle into the machine. Insert your needle point into the shaped needle slot. They've got diagrams. Flat side of needle should be facing back of machine. I'm glad they told us that because I literally didn't know that. I'm, so, I'm super new to, to sewing and quilting, y'all, in the last few years. So I'm learning. Um, hold tool and push needle shank into needle hole in machine as far as it will go. I'm definitely going to try this. I don't necessarily have trouble threading my machine needle, though. But I'll try it. I'll try it. Still smiling. When you're smiling. When you're smiling. The whole world smiles with you. I know you'll not smile at my racket I'm making. All right, let's find number five. Number five. <laughs> I'm definitely going on the mystery hunt for number five. What the heck? Where are you? Where are you hiding number five? Oh, it's a big box. I hear something clanking. I hope nothing's broke. These boxes are stinking cute. to the sewing machine. Y'all, it's a metal insulated cup and it's freaking fabulous. I am stoked for this. It's got the Missouri Star Quilt Company emblem. Make your own quilt top. Generally, this is how much of each pre-cut pack you'll need depending on the size and pattern. How cool, it's got a little cheat sheet of packs of five inch squares. Like for a queen, you need six to eight. Packs of 10 inch squares for a queen, you need two. It's a little cheater guide. I love that. Functional and useful. And there's measurements. Y'all, I Google this stuff all the time and now I have it right on my quilty cup. It's got the uh, measurements for batting size for each size of quilt the mattress size and the suggested size. And the cup's just cute as a freaking button. Again, it's quite weighted. It's got the top, metal. Um, if y'all watch me anytime really, you know I'm always drinking out of one of these metal cups. I'm so pumped. Y'all, I saw some of last year's unboxing for this. I don't know if I watched the whole thing. I only saw one person doing it and they were doing it daily. So I don't know if I caught them all, but the ones that I did catch, I was kind of like, Ew. But so I was very um, qu questioning about this, but so far I'm thrilled. What number was that? Five? Okay, let's find six. And I've gotten a box of Jenny's favorite things when I very first started my channel. I didn't even unbox it. I had just started getting subscription boxes. I hadn't even started my channel yet. I wish, man, I wish I would have recorded that. I was sorely disappointed. So this is the first thing I've ordered since then. That's like two years ago. I was so burnt from that. Day six. But yeah, I'm really happy so far. There's several things in this one. I love that she's doing this. First thing is a cookie cutter. You can't even see that. Let me open it for you. Out of the cellophane. Two more things to play with, Kat. It's a snowflake cookie cutter. 
and then we have a pattern for winter woodland table runner to make with two and a half inch strips. It makes 48 by 16 and I freaking love it. Isn't it cute? You can use this as a template. This is also for use as a template to make, to applique on there. Sample project, the Christmas card by Sweetwater for Moda. I love Sweetwater. That's what fabric they used. I wish it was in here. I wish it was in here. Um, Measure Twice Needle and Thread Aqua by Chris Lamars. Block sizes are 12 and a half unfinished. The snowflake cookie cutter is included in Jenny's Countdown to Christmas box. I guess we got some exclusive like items in here. Jenny's favorite sugar cookies. There's a recipe card for sugar cookies. And this guy. What's this guy? Soft bond, lightweight, fusible adhesive. Okay, this is for our um, applique. It's to use with our applique. Fantastic. <sighs> I'm like a kid and, a, and this, is, this is like a huge Christmas present for me. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is my first ever quilty advent that I've ever gotten. Pretty sure that's right. Pretty sure I've never gotten a quilty advent before. Day seven. Again, there's several things in one. Okay, first we've got some fabric markers. Looks like blue and black. Let me cut open this. Make your mark with Missouri Star fabric markers. They are literally branded with Missouri Star Quilt Co. I'm really happy to have these. Let's see what this says. These water resistant fabric markers are perfect for creating quilt labels, personalized fabric designs, and artistic lettering on fabric. And the ink stays put. No need to steam or iron, simply write and wash. Non toxic. Fine tip fabric marker set comes in two vivid colors, black and aqua. Freaking love it. Freaking love it. Then this is there. There's some labels, I'm, I'm guessing. This is in here. Yeah, I might go back at Christmas and open this up daily for myself, and then I can go onto the website, and um, every day in December, she'll put a little blurb on there about each item. I don't know if I already mentioned that or not. There's two fabric labels here. Cute. If you wonder what I look like happy, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Man, she was pricey, but so far, I'm not regretting it. Not regretting it. I'm losing count of what number I'm on. Okay, number eight. Number eight. There's nine. Here's eight. More squigglies for you, Parker. Parker's in the box full of squigglies, just in heaven. We're both in heaven. Heaven. 
I'm in heaven. Mm -hmm. oh, cute! What is it? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's cute. Let me unwrap it. See, this is what I'm seeing. So far, so cute. What is this? Is it a, just a knickknack? Patty wax? Or is it something? It feels like wax. Like a wax tart or something. What is this? Okay. There we go. Let me read what's on the bottom here. Oh, it's so... I knew it felt like melty in my fingers. And there's no scent, so I was confused. It is um, unscented goat milk soap made in Hamilton, Missouri. You guys, how am I supposed to use something so cute? And I'm not one just to put out stuff and not use it. I'm not, it, I like to use my stuff, so I'll probably use it up, even though it's super cute. Goat milk soap is supposed to be amazing. I do wish it was scented though, because I like scented things. But that was safe for them to do, because a lot of people are sensitive to that. Heck, I might just put this up for display somewhere and actually not use it in my sewing room or something. Sewing room, like I've got a sewing room. There's a corner of my bedroom that I use, and a corner, and a corner in here. All my children are still home, so no craft rooms yet. Number nine. I do have nice plans in my head, though. Okay, this time we've just got one item in here. And it's a pair of embroidery scissors. They're like little gold scissors. There is a little design etched right here. I don't know if you can see in the video. It looks kind of like sunshine, like the sun. The sun. Oh, I just blinded myself with my own magnet. My own magnifying glass. Yeah, it's the sun or a flower cut in two. One of the two. This is 3.75 inches, precision pointed blade, stainless steel, gold plated handles, perfect for needle work, quilting, embroidery, yard, so yard sewing, yarn sewing. There is, there's a design on the other side too. I'm not gonna take these out of their package yet. I will wanna open it up for my Christmas present. the hardest time getting this stuff back in here. Number 10. <laughs> There's Jenny. What the heck? What the heck? There's more in this bag. I have no clue what this is about yet. Okay, we have some yarn and a crochet needle. We have a crochet hook right here, pink, and this really soft yarn, Cascade Yarns. Okay, it's color 516. I know very little about yarn. I've knitted a few things in my lifetime, crocheted some things about 20 years ago, but 
So I'm no yarn expert. This is 55% um, nylon and 45% acrylic. And we have some instructions here for a tassel garland and a pom-pom bag tag. And it says supplies, one skein, um, Jenny's tassel and pom-pom tool, I guess that's this, sharp scissors, steam iron. What the, are we supposed to attach this like to a garland or to a pom-pom thing? Here's a tassel garland, picture of that. And here's the pom-pom bag tag. Finished size, braid measures eight inches in length. Make two pom-poms, it's got instructions, make the braid, attach the pom-pom. Attach to a gift bag, fold the braid to make a loop. It's telling you all the instructions for how to do the little pom-pom tags. And tassels, you can make 12 of those. And the garland's gonna measure 70 inches in length. Is this some kind of tool? Jenny tassel and pom-pom tool. Okay, this is the tool. Okay. Let me see this. Wrap yarn around both of Jenny's arms. You're going to use this to make your tassel garland. That is hilarious. The, unique. Unique, yeah. Like you're gonna wrap the yarn around her raised arms there. This is, that's the tool they're talking about. Jenny's tassel and pom-pom tool. How fun. Very unique. I'll definitely have to play around with that more and see well shoot I want to open it before well yeah this is the countdown to Christmas so I'll be able to open it and maybe make some decorations on some presents day 11 this is probably going to be like the world's longest video this again has uh, multiple things in the bag we have a pattern, simple strap key fob, project pattern for five inch squares. This is make, this would be good for Christmas presents, some keychains. And the, she sent the hardware, key fob hardware set, five clamps. So enough to make five keychains. All right, again, you can use that songbook um, charm pack and the project's either one by six and a half for a small one or one by seven and a half for a large one. You just need three five inch squares, two strips fusible fleece and two one inch key fob hardware sets and needle nose pliers. The supplies listed above are enough to make two key fobs. Still happy, and we're on day 11. I'm not regretting my purchase. Day 12. to make this video last two hours, but y'all, I enjoy this. I'm enjoying myself. So I'm savoring it. We have two items again. First up, we the same print that's on our gift boxes is on this shaker, like a salt shaker or a spice shaker. Three different sizes. It's um, cardboard. It's not for salt though. Quilter Select Free Fuse. One ounce semi 
permanent fusible powder, this is wholly new to me. This is completely foreign. I love this unique stuff. Okay. There's the instructions are inside this little packet. Um, some of it kind of escapes. I'm trying to keep it in this pouch, this satchel. All right, let's read about this a little bit. Creates a semi-permanent bond between most fabrics, battings, and textiles. This powder, like any bonding agent, is needle-friendly and easy to use for creating a fusible bond on almost any project. Sprinkle over the base material, place the second piece of fabric over the top of the powdered surface, cover with parchment paper or a Teflon pressing sheet, and apply direct heat and pressure with an iron or a press under medium temperature. Hold for at least four seconds. The bond is now set. Use for creating fusible quilt batting, Fusible stabilizer, fabric to fabric, appliques, costumes, home quilting, home decor, and more. How cool. Love it. I love the little shaker, the little quilty shaker. Day 13. Ooh, this is heavy. This one's heavy. It's a couple things. Oh, it's a book and some bookmarks. Okay, the bookmarks, super cute. I'm guessing this is her little symbol because it's on the outside of the box and on that snow globe. Then we have a quilt star and a sewing machine. These bookmarks are super cute. Never, never lose your place again with the handy Missouri star bookmarks featuring Chuck the Duck, the classic Missouri star. They're made from high quality plastic. They're one and a half. One and three fourths by three and a fourth. And then there's a book to go with. A Body in Red Work, Missouri Star Mystery by Hilary Dawn Speary. I'm guessing that's a daughter. Is that Jenny's daughter? It's the same last name. Red Work Quilting. An old friend's secrets and decoration strung with alibis and deceit. This Christmas, Jenny Doan, I hate that I don't know how to pronounce that, expected to be busy. She double booked herself and not even two assistants could keep her straight. Between the quilting retreat and the fabric designers convention in Hamilton, Missouri, things were bustling. Then the unspeakable happened, and piece by piece, Jenny began to unravel secrets, proving everyone had something to hide. As the week comes to a close, her Christmas red work retreat won't be the only thing at risk. Jenny must race the clock to find out who is eliminating designers from the quilting industry before the killer strikes again. Let's read this little blurb. The Jenny Doan name and the Missouri Star Quilt Company are trademarks and property of Missouri Star Quilt Company. This is totally unexpected. More from Missouri Star series. Apparently they write my uh, books. That was totally unexpected. I've got nothing that I already have. That's nice. I'm not doing a good job at rewrapping number 13. Number 14. I 
several things in this guy as well. We have a little hanger. Let me take it out of here so you can see it better. For a small project, these little quilt hangers. Cute. And we have a pattern. Lemon Star Mini Quilt. Mini Quilt pattern for two and a half inch strips. It makes an eight by eight quilt or um, square, and they sent us the strips to make it. It is Moda Ombre, 100% cotton, and it's in, the, it's in many colors. It's in these colors. Or it's ombre, so it probably goes from one color to the next in one strip. I'm not gonna open this yet. Um, simple, all you need is, yeah, we've got everything we need besides the backing and the batting. Clearly perfect A trimmer is recommended. I don't have that, I don't think. You only need three two and a half inch ombre strips. This also includes the binding. Enough to make binding, cute. Happy. happy, 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 happy girl. I'm a happy, happy, happy girl. All right, day 15. A clean, a clean kitchen. We have a, I think we have a kitchen towel. I think we have a tea towel. Let me open it. I love the colors. Yeah. And it's got on the back here, um, the Missouri Star emblem. And it's got these little pom-poms at the bottom. Oh, fuzzies are getting on me. Okay, let's see. A clean kitchen is a sign of a broken sewing machine. I love this. This is going on my stove handle. I love it. Super happy with that. This is a freaking amazing advent. Number 16. We have a little guy. There you go, Parker. Oh, thread cutter pendant. I don't have one of these. You know, you can wear around your neck like a necklace and it's like a sneaky, sneaky thread cutter. Or they have or if you don't want to put on necklaces, they're showing it like stuck in um, a spool of thread. Convenient cutter and pendant in one. You can see there's all these little slots all around it. And here you can see I'm going to have it in a spool of thread or you can have it on your necklace. That's cute. I don't have this, like I said. What do you have for me, my dear? 
We have a project and other items that go with it. First and foremost, we have a pattern for perfectly pieced pin cushion and clip strip. This is a project pattern for five inch squares. It's super cute. Oh, MG, super cute. Song, again, they're using that songbook fabric. I'm loving that line. Then we've got the project is six by three and a half. You're going to use five five print squares and three fourths of a cup walnut shells. I don't have any walnut shells. There's the back and the front. Different designs on each side. I love this project. Jenny has totally redeemed herself from my debacle two years ago with Jenny's favorite things. I have forgiven you, Jenny. We have two things of thread. This navy blue and this white. Is it white or cream? Quality thread at a price you'll love, it says. This is eggshell, 100% cotton, 50 weight, 500 yards. And this one is um, LT.Navy, light navy. Can always use thread. I've never used her thread, so I shall try it. like some walnut shells though <laughs> to actually do that project that would have been nice what number was that 17 right here's 18 oh my gosh i don't even want to open it Cupcake socks, a sweet treat for your feet. It's in the shape of a freaking cupcake. How cute is that? There's little pom-poms on them. Probably for the heels of it. Um, I'm not going to unwrap these yet. but Because I want to save it for my Christmas present. But you can get the general idea of how they look. So cute. This, yeah, if you just bought yourself one Christmas gift, if you're a quilter, this would be a fantastic one. Number 19, which I did. I did buy myself this Christmas present. I've got, I've got several quilting advents coming, so... If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and hit that notification bell and you can see when I unbox the other ones I've got coming. Love it. Magnetic needle minders. Again, we have got Chuck the Duck. Is that what they called him? And the Missouri Star. Is that the Missouri Star quilt? Magnetic. Love these. I, I store these on my little metal, um, metal quilt carts over here. You see an edge of one right there. Until I need them if I'm doing some cross stitch. Love them. They're super cute. You've totally redeemed yourself. Day 20. gonna be a long video I'm so sorry fat quarter pop-up I'm so excited you guys have never made anything like this before make a fun container that pops especially formed wire spring back into shape every time this includes the instructions, one spring, one label, and elastic. 
Let me take it out of cellophane so y'all can see it better. Okay, here's the label. What's that say? Oh, I had it probably upside down. So organized design, and it has a little RV with a little lady hanging out of it. Here's the elastic, and here's our spring form, probably. And the pattern. So you can see it better. Here, they, here are some. Look, this elastic is to hold it down for storage. And here are the little pop-ups. Finish size is six by five and a half. You need one fat quarter. For the mid-weight stabilizer, you're gonna need three eighths of a yard. The instructions are small size only. Four large safety pins are required. I got, I got some of those. I'm excited about this. I'm going to make it. I am going to make me one. How cool is that? Perfect for scraps as you're sewing that you're going to toss. Little trash can, if you will. Little fancy dancy one. Okay, that was day 20. This goes to day 25. All right, day 21. Oh, this guy was hiding from me. This was hiding in the bottom. It's cellophane wrapped up. Is it a food scoop? Drop my scissors. I wonder if this is some kind of food product. None of the others have been wrapped up like this. Pretty heavy too. Now this is a nice reusable gift box. There's no um, number sticker on it or anything. Is it a puzzle? It is a puzzle, you guys. It is a puzzle. Missouri Star Company, Love and Light. I guess that's what the puzzle's gonna look like. Cause there's no other pictures on it. The puzzle's like reversible though. I can see the underside of the pieces look like this. Yeah, I guess this is what the puzzle's gonna look like. I don't, I don't know how many count it is or anything, but like I said, if I was opening this like I'm supposed to, I could go on and find more information if I wanted. It looks like my kind of puzzle. Looks like it's not too hard. I bet it's a 500, three or 500. Just, yeah, just my style. I was not expecting that. 22. Oh, okay. We have a couple of items. We have a pattern. Periwinkle Coaster. Project pattern for five-inch squares. See it? A little quilty coaster good for Christmas presents and we have the template here the periwinkle wacky web template in mini this is Missouri Star Company you can peel off this this backing this is kind of to protect it 
from breaking and stuff, scratching. Again, they're using that sawn book fabric. The project is four and a half by five and a half. You're gonna use three five inch squares and six inches of fusible fleece. And then this guy, of course. Cool. All right. Day 23. Keep being paranoid, I'm gonna be missing one, but I'm not. Day 23. She's got her own rotary blades? Missouri Star Rotary Blade Refills. Fits all rotary blade handles, and it's, it's a rotary blade. Can't really see it on the camera, I don't believe, but if you, there's etchings of a quilt, quilty star in there, on there. And it says Missouri Star Quilt Company on it. Nice. You can always use rotary blades. Usually I use Ofra, but I'll try this. Why not? I'm sure it's good. Day 24. She makes a lot of her own stuff. I didn't realize that. Because I hadn't been speaking to her since the debacle. But we're on speaking terms again. <laughs> After this one. Sheepish. This is day 24, guys. This is our next to last one. We have a wool felt needle case. It's super cute. See the inside of it? If y'all don't know what a needle case is, it's a softy, softy thing. You can hold, stick your needles in and fold it up like a little book. And it feels like the, fa <clears throat> it feels like the fabric's in here too. It is. We have our felty fabric in there and floss to make this. So I'm guessing there's green, white, black, and red. Yep. Everything we need to make it. So cute. Happy with that. The last one, y'all. The last one, number 25. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. It's a freaking clock. It's a quilty clock perfect for my sewing corner. It says Missouri Star Quilt Company on it. It's wood. I think that's glass. And then look at the pretty bright colors. And of course the battery compartment in the back and the little thing to hang it. I love this. I'm looking around to see where I'm gonna hang it. You guys, this was fantastic. I am so thrilled with this advent. No buyer's remorse. I like that they let you pay for half of it up front too, so it's not a whopping ouch, you know, when you get it, because it is very pricey, like I said. But I will definitely try to get next year's too. And like I said, I'll go through a Christmas and open this every day and enjoy the items as they come. But I wanted to show you guys.
in this um, two hour long video. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up guys if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. I'll see you at the next one.